Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I'm Becky. If you're new here, I have recently bought this Land Rover Discovery that I'm sitting in right now to convert and live in. So yeah, welcome back to stage two of the conversion. As you can see in the back, got so much wood there to make a start on building the worktop. Since a young age, I've been so passionate about being outdoors and traveling and seeing new places. So buying this Land Rover is definitely opening up so many more doors to allow me to spend more time in different and new beautiful places. Having the D2 is going to allow me to get to places that I wouldn't in another vehicle. It's going to open up new doors, not just in travel, but learning new skills, learn how a vehicle works, learn how to convert one. From my adventures so far, I've learned the worst part is always coming home, coming back to a busy town or a place that you're not too fond of, where having this is going to be coming back to a place that offers more adventure. It allows me to spend more time on the road and outdoors and places where I love. For me, home has always felt somewhere that's outdoors in nature. So yeah, I'm so excited for this new chapter, this fresh start, a new adventure on the horizon. But also so grateful to have this lifestyle that bonds you so well with loved ones. What a beautiful camp. And that is the end of our little camp out in the woods. Absolutely stunning. When we returned from our camp out, it was time to make a start to the split charge relay system that I'll have in the landy. Jake kindly walked me through it all and explained how it all works. Positive wire. So that's going to come off the starter battery. We're then going to chuck a fuse in and your split charge relay. That just comes down here all nice and neat. And then it comes down through there into here. And then we'll just feed that. And all I've done there to check is that we can fit the split charge relay there and the fuse. And all that'll happen basically is this red wire here will come from the starter battery on the positive through the fuse, then through the split charge relay, which basically turns the current from the battery and uprates it into, it says 140 amps on there, but it won't be that high. As well as having the essentials of electric and diesel heater, it was vital to get a worktop into Percy, meaning a trip to Wix, which I'm clearly buzzing about. Today, Jake is back on electrics and we're gonna have a go at starting the worktop and the whole unit that runs across here, which is really exciting. Jake's just been explaining how all these electric works, they're all going under here with my diesel heater. So hello, today we are at APB Trade and Limited. It's an expedition equipment outlet and I'm here with a few of the guys who are gonna be fitting my roof rack today and fitting an awning. So I'm super excited. It's gonna transform Percy into a beast. I can't wait to see the difference. APB Trading has been going 40 years and they specialise in Land Rovers and 4x4s as well as vehicle accessories and outdoor equipment to prepare you for a bit of off-roading or an overlanding adventure. So I thought I'd pop in as I was up north at the time and get some bits added to Percy. Hi guys, I'm Liam here at APB. Just going to go through some of the uh, Easy On stuff and about their story a bit. Uh, Easy On, straight out of South Africa, been going for 35 plus years. I'm lucky enough to know them from day dot um, through my family. Um, but if you didn't know what they do, all uh, outdoor gear, um, particularly on 4x4s, they're doing racks, uh, tents, um, all the fittings, doing roof bars, and then on the other side they got awnings, um, tents, you name it. They got everything uh, that you would need. So as you can see, the roof rack is now on and I've gone with the Easy On K9 roof rack. The guys are gonna fit the awning for me in just 
see what it's like. I'm a bit indecisive on which one to really get. So this is the Easy On K9. Yeah, K9 rack for yours, 2.2 meter. Um, unfortunately, we tried to get a long one for you, but just didn't work. It's great. It looks so good already. It changes the vehicle, doesn't it? It does. Already looks like an overlander. <laughs> <laughs> So me and Liam are now looking at tyres for the Landy. <laughs> what would your go-to tyre be if you had to pick? It really depends. I like a BF. Um, Toyos are great. Uh, Generals are what uh, our MD runs. Yeah. So, I mean, you can't really go wrong with top three brands. No, there's so much out there really, isn't there? Yeah. So we're just having a look-see and hopefully get them fitted sometime soon. Good morning, I am currently driving back to the unit to get some more changes done to Percy today. So the plan is after getting the roof rack and the awnings fitted yesterday, the plan is to get my new tyres on. So I'll show you which tyres I went for. I got the original steel wheels that came with Percy and I quite like that because they're a rigid wheel that's really strong obviously because it's made of steel. Really excited. I'm also getting a shower curtain today potentially and a ladder so I can actually get on top of my roof rack because at the minute it's just the case of climbing onto the rear wheel, the spare wheel and getting onto the roof. But the guys at APB Expedition Equipment have been excellent, they've been great. I've been working with Phil and Liam there and they've been so helpful, as well as all the mechanics. a coffee that Phil kindly made me but already the four wheels are off it looks absolutely mint and it's amazing how this tire system works the sort of electronic tire lever I've got the steel wheels but they're sprayed in black and I've got BF good riches all-terrain tires on there so these are looking beasts they look so bloody good Right, so all four wheels are on now. Carl's doing a lovely job. Looks so good. What was your Instagram account again? For all things off-roading, overlanding, modifications, Land Rover Discovery Group. That's the one. Go follow him. So Carl's actually got a Discovery 1, isn't it? It is, yeah. A 96 Discovery 1 V8. And done loads of conversions to it also. Range Rover Support, 500 horsepower, supercharged V8. Bloody lovely. What's the motto again? You can't get rid of a Land Rover, you just get another one. You just buy more, yeah. <laughs> you can never sell one. Right, so as you'll see now, got the shower curtain on. It is absolutely brilliant. Just set it up and got the ladder on, got the awning and it's looking so beast. It looks so good with the wheels. And I will show you in the next clip all the setup and how it's looking. But I'm so happy with it. So from my last video, you would have seen some of the big changes that have happened inside the vehicle as well as out. So right now at the minute, everything is packed up and loaded. So I've got things scattered about in here that need sorting and putting into specific boxes. But you can see now I have got a unit in and oh my God, it makes life so much better. Just having a worktop and a flat area to put things is so convenient. I've also started to fit some curtains. So it's just as simple as a rail and this thin blackout material, which is gonna be perfect for my cab divider, but also the rear door. So you would have seen that I have now got myself a new pair of boots on Percy. 
So I decided to go with BF Goodrich's all-terrain tyres as these are just a well-known rugged tyre which is obviously great for traction but they also look really sexy and really have transformed the way Percy looks. It's quite frustrating filming because I'm right next to a small road here so you can keep hearing cars go by. I'm now going to talk about what's on the roof. So at APB Expedition Equipment they have fitted me a roof rack. It is an easy on K9 roof rack as you will see the difference the slats run from front to back instead of side to side this is obviously more efficient with the road noise when you get awful wind noise when you're driving it's also supposed to be more rigid and it's a lot easier to walk on when you're up there so now with the awning i have gone with a easy on back 270 degree awning i was really swaying towards having a side awning and a rear awning for the rear door but i decided to go with this instead it's a swing out it's so easy to set up it's pretty lightweight for a swing arm one coming in at about 21 kgs it looks absolutely mint it looks so mega and with the size it transforms it into a tent which is obviously great to have extra space when you're in the landing it's a tan material so it's going to be lovely when you spend a lot of time under it it's obviously made in south africa so it's really good quality As you can see, we are all set up now and it is so great having this extra space to chill under, to cook under, to eat under, to get out of the sun, to get out of the rain. And I guess if the rain is a problem, there's always the thing of just pushing it off or putting the sides on um, and guy lining it down and just bringing it on a slope. But yeah, it's brilliant and I love it and it's really cool. Obviously you've got the adjustable legs, it's freestanding but I'm always going to set the legs up and peg it into the ground just in case. I can always lower this down to get a bit of runoff so the rain does run off and doesn't collect on here. It's obviously really cool to have that ability to sit in here and do stuff but also be able to sit on this step here and chill outside and to have a stove outside to cook on on them really nice warm summer nights or even winter when you just don't want to be inside all the time because it does get a bit cramped especially if it's raining i will now show you the shower curtain that i've got that's on the other side i think the worst feeling is when you haven't had a shower for a while and you go really slimy and you start to smell and if you're doing a lot of exercise or it's so hot and you've been sweating a lot then you just gag him for a shower and i think that's a lot of the times the reason why i've gone back to a town or gone back home is just to get a shower so this will allow me to stay on the road longer and not have to go to a campsite or just go somewhere to get clean So I'm now inside the shower curtain and it seems massive. This setup is looking so good and I'm so happy with how it's coming out. One of my patrons, Todd, kindly bought me the trash roo to have on the back of my spare wheel for trash, wood, etc. You can also see I've got a ladder for getting up onto the roof. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do in terms of having a rooftop tent or storage boxes on the roof. I don't really know. I've got a lot of things that I want to take with me on my travels, so storage is a must. I am super excited and I love this journey of how it's coming on. In the space of two weeks, it's changed massively with the wheels, the tyres and all the other add-ons. The Land Rover when I first got it was a complete blank canvas and it's so special to design it how you want it to look like and your own unique expedition rig. At the minute, I'm still researching and looking at different things to get for the Land Rover and what's gonna make it convenient and really good to spend a lot of time in it and around it. Other than that, I'm planning some trips for this year, which is really, really exciting and I cannot wait to tell you what I have in store. 
thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing the improvements that have been made since the last video thank you to all my patreons for making this possible i really appreciate you guys thanks again i will see you on the next video take care